Hello everybody, Team Jet here, and welcome back to our Lady and the Tramp playthrough, where we are on Tom's turn, and you are playing as... The mighty tramp known as Heinrich Kembler. <laughs> and I am over here on the other side as the Lady of Silustra Diofan. Though, I say all the way over there, I'm on my way home! We're about to have some fun with Estelia, potentially, though we'll, we'll see what it's like when we get there. Yeah. Anyway, let's switch it to your screen, because it's your turn. Now Obviously, I said before about doing a, but I think, unfortunately, I'm going to hold off doing the quest battle a little bit, and there's a good reason for that. I want to get Castle Bastone taken. Yes. And I want to make sure I have my full force at hand. Especially if I'm in March. Ooh, do I? I think I'm going to just march to Marienburg so I keep the happiness. Yeah, no, I mean, Bastone reduced. is key, because then you can start trading with people, and that's going to be yeah. huge for you. Oh, yes. Spread the rot. Right. Upgrading to a shady township. Oh, I noticed with the, um, sorry, completely yep. unrelated, looking at the, uh, with the new map. It seems to reflect the new Old World map a bit better, the way they've changed the, uh, Empire map. Okay. So I'd have to double check, but it seemed to look that way. We're already talking about Warhammer 3. <laughs> oh, I mean, it, does, it doesn't take long. I mean, in the new year, we're going to obviously be getting some new information, Ooh. I hope. Those purple winds of magic. Uh, yeah. 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 Crappy choice. I don't want to. I could choose bad choice or bad choice for my options. Basically, one was reducing my movement range, which I wasn't going to take. Uh, that's actually not that bad for you, because you got the upgrades which increase your movement. Where range. is Bill Bally? Bill Bally? Bill, oh. the northern Estillian, Estillian settlement. Ah, there. Uh, yeah. The place I'm going to go and take next turn. And it doesn't seem to have much of a garrison. No, Magritta does, however, have a fairly chunky garrison, but it gives me a set place to settle and start building yeah. from. And start Completely. corrupting from. And obviously you can raid. I uh, please don't call me into this war. Because you, shouldn't, you shouldn't need me in this. Yeah, this I mean, war. my plan for the wars is to basically set up Estelia, and then I'm going to start raiding the Bretonian coast to get lots of pirate coves there. Hmm. Oh yes, I wanted to. I've got. Yeah, I have extra public order in all my places, which was what I was trying to do. Nice. Okay, and where is my northern guy? He is on the gunnery shore now. White. My gunner uh, white, who is going looking for treasure in Norska. That is what we Bar like to hear. would surely freeze Grayling Moot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I do like the riddles. For it. I knew I wasn't gonna get it. I dug, but I knew I wasn't gonna get it there. Yeah. Well, it's because obviously it's the moot. Yeah, you're not far. You weren't far enough, unfortunately. Oh yeah. Now, thing is, what interesting units am I going to be able to recruit at Fort Bergbress? Because obviously it's a massive corpse site. And. Uh... Uh, yeah, 4,900. It's a few corpses there. It's in the north. This is, the beautiful thing about playing as the vampires is when you start fighting chaos in the north, you can just basically feed off the corpse piles being oh, created. God, yes. I think in one of my playthroughs, I literally... I think it was as Kemler. I literally ended up there with piles of all of my chaff armies died up there, but because of that, I could just recruit everything. Hmm. Yeah, I better put it back on your screen. Yeah. No um, camera at the moment, by the way, guys, simply because I'm still dying. Do, now, a bit of a uh, cheeky question. Do you have any spare funds? Mm, not really, no. I've got a bit, but I'm going to need it. Yeah, no, that's 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 fair. Now, obviously, I can get some Grave Guard and Grave Knights and Corpse Carts. Yeah. I mean, um, if you're I... desperate, I can, but I'm probably going to need it to get, to start settling it, building up in Estelia. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of my Skeleton Warriors, interestingly. 
Because I think another two units of Graveguard mm. they will all is just... Pay. They're just that much better. I'm not going to get any more Knights. I think two Knight units and a Hex Wraith. Is enough, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I would... At your point, I'd be looking at getting a second chaff army to follow, to go in front, basically. Let us make ah, it's the additional upkeep. I know, and SFO is particularly bad for that, but having that chaff army just to follow, just to go in front. I mean, in vanilla, it's definitely worth it, because it's so cheap to do. And their literal job is to go and... Basically, their job is to go and swarm the enemy while your main army does the, gets into position. Oh, this might be quite a fun. There's a lot of knights errant. But... They are at war with Musilion, so maybe wait until they move a bit. So sit on the border in position. Well, I've just dashed him over there. Yeah, you might be lucky, because if you look as well, there is a humongous set of battle sites between um, Musilion and oh, uh, yeah. Bastogne. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just end the turn there. Cool, and it is it is landfall time. Yeah. Oh, I hate the fact I can't of the attack the, same the port. Yeah, unlike Attila, where you can attack straight at the port. The issue is, I don't think I've got any movement left, so I'm not going to war with them this turn. Yeah, just go into your encampment stance. More importantly, though, you should be able to dig up the halfling treasure. Yes. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot about that. I'm gonna have tons of money. Why? Oh, I dug for treasure last turn and there's yeah. a cooldown. Yeah. How long is the cooldown? It's just one turn. Out. I believe. I'm gonna steal some it's technology so from the Norskins. Yeah, it's just so you can't keep spamming it. <laughs> Sorry about coughing. Charlie Booty Catch, what a name. <laughs> he catches all that booty. Ooh, there's some good dead piles in um thingy as well. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just absolutely stunned. I'm just looking at the uh the longbowman. They have the longest range of any archers I've actually seen. How long in is the it? game yet? 195. Oh, that's that's an SFO buff. The thing is, though, it's men at arms yeah. longbows, and they are longbows. I guess it's basing them off. Yeah, historical long, historic longbows. I can't really complain due to be, it being Which a Welsh the... invention. <laughs> I do have to say, I, I, I suspect the fact that Britain had such good longbowmen was part of the reason that Britain probably always treated its serfs a bit better, because it probably makes a lord worry a little bit if their, if their entire populace are trained as people who can basically kill them from 200, from 300 metres away easily. Yeah. I think, yeah, I can, I can get behind that. I mean, obviously not always, but... <laughs> Ooh. Um, yeah, they've moved out from Castle Bastogne. Now, the issue is you don't have any siege attackers, do you? No. Irritatingly. But... So, they will be able to come back. If you could get a siege attacker, it would be helpful. Can't, fortunately. I am going to go in and... Because go for the thing it. Is, go for it. Find me I'm quite now. up for... Uh, I'm not going to call allies for war. I mean, I wouldn't Commit mind you calling me to it or not. Destruction. Uh, right, let's build some... Because to be honest, that's quite a chunky garrison. Yeah, the issue is if they turn around, but obviously... Uh, they fought the battle and it looks like they've had a lot of losses. Oh yeah, there's even more battle sites over there. <laughs> uh, right. 
now I, I think... will want to join when you go to war of like uh, Baudelaire and things. Eventually, I will probably want to join the wars because what I will do is I will do naval invasions to get port. Get oh uh, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Um, so my pirate cove income is actually eight hundred and seventy-eight from Lothan. Gladly. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> So it's not the 67, it said. <laughs> I'm going to start moving her up to uh, wards um, Altdorf. Now, yeah, miscast space chance. Yep, here goes, end turn. Ooh, various people are destroyed. Oh, Estelia got a it started building an army here. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. You almost pity them. Shame they've got no ogre mercenaries. Decisive victory. I'll lose one exploding. Oh, not Bob. At least he took 126 with him. I'm just stunned the other ones can kill like 100 <laughs> units and not die. <laughs> yeah, it does feel a little, little odd. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mortar! Yeah. Um... That's actually a really good settlement for you. Because yeah. it's got the wine and it's got the port. Getting a couple of mortars. I'm leaving it for the moment. I'm not going to retweak it, but I'm yeah. getting a couple of mortars in because mortars. I mean, obviously you want to go for growth first. So it's just so you can get to max tier. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving the mortar building this turn because I'm building the mortars. And if I get rid of it, I don't think they actually build. Uh, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, I'm leaving her because I want to level up her main thing first. You always go for all these green ones first, don't you? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I mean, but Which that's, hull that's upgrade, my place. Replenishment or local growth? I mean, local growth isn't really important for me. So replenishment and pirate capacity. Yep. Ooh, 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 I have a new treasure. I have two new treasures. Oh, oh I don't know. New treasure, but it's right down south. God damn it. This is why you need more, uh... Shot and the gunnery rights. What? Fire. It's not a grayling moot. What? No. The halflings would surely fee freeze if they visited the moots. But in the south lies fire undimmed by ice. Oh, in the south. So it's this mountain. Do you have to be in the region or quite close? You have to be quite close. Yeah, I think it's this volcano somewhere. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. God damn it. <laughs> You're rubbish at this. Yep. <laughs> Curse of the sea mist. All regions belonging to you become covered in sea mist. Oh, so tempting. Which means that they can't come back at me, though. Magritta, they've lost. Tomorrow, which is almost certainly helped by Skaven Blight. Duel to the death. Who I probably don't want to go to war with, to be fair. Nope. And it's actually a rubbish province for you. Yeah, but I might want to take the other settlement back, if you see what I mean. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to take Tomorrow. Ooh, storied hero. Ooh. So, leveling up my paladin, my damn paladin. Forward to victory. Movement, 10% movement for... Plus four errant knight unit capacity. Yes, please. Or plus four... Ooh. So extra movement range for all my armies or extra diplomatic relations with all factions. Uh, diplomatic relations. That's Get more huge, trade. actually. Oh, yeah, and his tree will now start unlocking... Okay, he has three abilities unlock at rank 40, which means I can't get them. What's the top unit cap on SFO? Oh, I have no idea. I've got a feeling I can't get the final thing. Uh, level, you mean level cap? Yeah, for, 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 yeah. for characters. 
uh, 40, I would believe it was. Yeah. Well, basically, I unlocked two things at level 40. Yeah, so save up skill points. Oh, I always forget you can do that. I know you can save them, but it always feels a bit weird to me. I mean, sometimes, some of the abilities, when you unlock one, it locks the other. So that's perfectly possible. Oh, I can't afford them. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm stopping. I'm, I'm stopping some building because I want some more. I want some permanent knights. Mm-hmm. Because, 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 yeah. yeah. So the paladin also gives me access to them. So I'm now recruiting two units of damn knights errant. They're all going to take two turns, but that's fine. I'm, sh I'm sure I? they'll be perfectly happy. Oh yeah, I'll recruit those through global as well. That's fine. There we go. Oh. I left it on your fucking screen. Sorry, people. <laughs> I was looking at things, so I think they won't mind too much. Now, I've been question. terrible at that. R keep just double checking. I I do. I just don't like. So yeah, basically, Dude. I've 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 taken Bill Valley and I've started building units and tried to get my treasure. You didn't miss much. I'm really sorry. So let us see if Bastone come attack the mighty Tramp. I mean, they kind of have to. Oh, Estelia sent a uh, sent a, a hero. Oh, Mozillion attacked them. Okay. So. Let's have a look at this map. Now, oh. You could fall back and try and ch try and ambush them. Or you fight it. That's a lot of knights, man. That is a lot of knights, but that's the only threatening bit about the army. Those knight errants. Do they have a catapult? Nope. Your call. I'm going to be honest. I would pull back. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think you're right. I'm going to pull back. Pull back an ambush stance on your border where they're likely to come through to Griot. Uh, I've got a wall there. Mm. This is where having a second force would be really good because you'd be able to cheese their, exter their army outside. I am though gonna go with an ambush stance there, and I'm gonna raise an army in the. Oh, don't don't ambush stance where you are, because they can get past you. No, 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 no. I'm gonna move to the pathway. Because I have a seventy percent ambush stance, um, ambush chance there. Yeah, that's really good. Kill them, my children. And hopefully they'll go straight for Grio, because it's within striking distance, and you'll you'll numb them up. So, if I raise an army in Fort Bergbrus, because it's got the, uh... I'm just checking if there's any... Oh, I need to spend 5,000 to upgrade Corona, though. Oh, this is painful. Oh, at least I've got one which doesn't cost any money to recruit, because I've already recruited him. I'm just re-recruiting. Oh, and even better, he's got a special which buffs all zombies. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and um, the thing is, <laughs> if you can see my screen, just... Uh, I, I don't mean, I can, need to... but it's teeny. Yeah, I, d I don't need to recruit anything there this turn. Right, uh... Can I do anything else useful? Nope. I'm going to end the turn there. And I'm actually going to remember to switch it to my screen this time. Haha. <laughs>
Move any character to following region. Ooh, I might have to send somebody over there, but not now. The question is, are you going to send some income my way? <laughs> nope. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm, what do I want to level her up with? I need to get to Arcane Conduit. I'm going to get Magical Reserves. Oh, Earthing for Miscast and then Magical Reserves. And then I'm going to start upping her troops a bit. I need to start getting more freaking, um... I need an audience. Oh... Um. Ah. Uh, renown infamy. I need to start building oh, my infamy. Yeah, that's that's what the uh, pirate coves are for. Yeah, there. Some of them do that as well. You can use. Uh, them to I thought do that. all of them give passive infamy. I don't think so. Hunt failed, for fuck's sake. Seriously, right. Come and look at Grayling Moot. Halflings yeah, no. would surely freeze if they yeah, visited no, this moot. I'll tell you exactly where you've gone wrong. You need to be between the two peaks, actually, at the south of the volcano. Where the little skeleton comes out. Where the skull from is facing from the volcano. Where? <laughs> Basically, right on the path. Hang on. Can I doodle on the map? Uh, yes, I can. Oh, where the little thing is? Is it always yeah. where something is? It normally is. I'll head but... down there next turn. Yeah. Mind that we call. God damn it. If that's where... If it's saying about the... Because that's directly south of Grayling Moot. And it's the sort of... The entrance point to the volcano. Damn it. Hmm. Can't recruit any heroes here at the moment. Though we have my uh, damn Derrick Knights coming, which is going to be cool. The only other thing I would say is would it be better actually, it might be one of the torches, the skull torches. Yeah. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, you mean the one just up across from where mm. I am? Yeah. See, I'd have thought it says directly south, which is what confused me. I but I mean, look at the Phalax one. There's nothing there other than the settlement, I guess. The High Sentinel was literally on the settlement. Hmm. I mean, the map picture is a little further right, I guess. So I'm just watching Castle Bastogne. I want to see where their armies go. This is where Siege Attacker would be really useful for oh you. Oh my god, I can't recruit any yet, unfortunately. I haven't got the right buildings. Oh! They're too close. They're in reinforcement Lord range. You need to yeah. pull back a bit and re ambush stance. Well, you say that. I've got my uh, army, my chaff army. Even range. Everything dies. I, I say chaff army. It's not. Well, you actually can't that... cheese with that army, can you? Oh, you could cheese with your main army. Yeah. Do right. it. Firstly, zombies. No. Never. It's in range. It can attack that army. Um. Oh. Uh, do you have any money? Yes. How much do you have spare? Because I need as much as possible uh, if I I'll want give, this chaff. I can give you 4,001. That would be very useful. Uh... What souls will you give? I mean, you should be getting uh, 10,000 soon. You, Hopefully. You address the great...
Right. Knights. I think I'd better recruit some knights. I'd literally have just done this as Zeds. Uh, I've all recruited all the Zeds possible. Soon, ah. I'll be all powerful. Recusant. Moving. Yeah, you're not close enough to cheese fully. Under just fall uh, behind. Death. But fall behind an ambush starts. Ready. Nope, uh, they can't get within. I just need to. Yeah, so no, I you, you, you don't know what I mean by cheesing, me. do you? Uh, I. Kill them. Raise them. Obliterate. You mean like that? No. Oh, I am definitely autoing this. I want because okay. it'll wipe out the garrison. Yeah, do it. That's not what I meant by a cheese, but. Uh. So to cheese, what you do is you siege the settlement, and oh, then yeah, and you then attack, attack the army outside the, uh... because they can't reinforce. Yeah. Then go. Which you can't do in late. You can't do in later games. You can't do in Free Kill Kingdoms. Them. Anyway. Raise them. Uh, what's best though? I need more minions. I can trade with people now. Ooh. Uh, no, I can't. I got. I have to. Okay. Wrong province. I have to control the other one. <laughs> now I'm thinking. Do I disband that army or do I keep it together? Keep it together as a cheese army. As your as your cannon Bring fodder, basically. Yeah. But yeah, you should be easily be able to take Montfort, and then you probably want to get rid of the, of the dwarves. That's what I was thinking. All right. And Heinrich is can be upgraded, but I think I want to. Oh no, I do want to upgrade him. Oh, there's so many options. <laughs> I'll, you know, I'm going to pass the turn and I'll think about what upgrade options to apply next turn. <laughs> the Rotten Timber Reserves. Uh, settlements suffer. I don't want my fleets to suffer. I never want my fleets to suffer. Nice. We are starting the march to Magritta. That's what we like to hear. Well, I've moved a bit too far. I was going to go into ambush stance. They've got quite junky forces there, unsurprisingly. Right. Let's look at this map. I think it's actually further... Short and dead. This way. I think it might be this one. Oh, you're back up with your... Yeah, because the uh, picture on the map is basically the center of the circle on the map is, hang on, I'll draw on for you, here. Uh, you are on your screen again, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, you know what, go, I, thing is, go for it, that's. I mean, I can't dig this turn anyway. Yeah. I think it's this volcano here. That's not directly south, though. No, I know. Out. But at the same time, it's got a little opening. Uh, I don't know. It's tricky. Yeah. Hey, your turn. Yeah, let's uh, well. go back and see. Uh... Well, just I'm going to. My unit. Irritatingly. Montfort has walls because it's a... A Bretonian uh, settlement, yeah. Yeah. But I would hit it fast so they don't have time to Oh, oh yes. That's the plan. Oh, Noctilus wants a non-aggression pact. I'm saying no. He's chunky uh, and powerful. I don't want a non-aggression pact in case he settles, takes Magritte or somewhere. That's fair to... Yeah. Oh, I got a blood kiss for uh, that battle. For faction leaders killed in battle. Nice. Yeah, I had to auto that one because it's just obviously the auto wiping out the garrison. Bit disappointed I didn't get a battle site there. Oh, close victory. We're fighting this. This is going to be fun. Oh, okay. 
Especially as I'd lose, well, I'd, I'd, I'd lose units. I'd lose my exploder units. Oh no! Yeah, well, I. Okay, yeah. Uh, spectate. It'll be a fun battle. And we've not really fought anything this time. That's true. And I get and to especially... use my new damn knights errant. Yeah, I was going to say you get to uh, enjoy the fun with their perfect. Fast vigor. movers or line? Um. Let's go with fast movers. That's how we've been doing it with... Well, uh... do you want the fast movers? Yeah. Okay. You'll get the caster as well, obviously. You mean your lord? Yeah, you'll get Silustra and Diophon. You, you sure? Because I actually... Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy. Because I'll just keep casting the... You I mean, I can take it. No, I'll, I'll keep her then, actually. Um, well, no, it's just with her, I was going to keep casting Spite Shot on your artillery. Yeah. Uh, I want to give you back the damned paladin just because. No, he's a fast mover. He should be moving with the cavalry. Actually, I'm giving you back Bob's. Um, it's not a particularly good map for Bob's. So, I'm gonna put these guys in the woods here. Diofan's gonna. Be I, here. I I basically don't really have much in the way of infantry just toward you, other than my guns. So these guys have the sirens have stalk. So I'm thinking if I leave them here, they're somewhat yeah. close enough to the. Basically, I'm moving, going to leave my infantry, my bog standard infantry a bit forward to catch the enemy on while my line does all the shooting. Yeah. All right, you're okay with where I've got the sirens? Yeah. I'm going to try and leave them out of action until the enemy get yep. close. Let's go. Yeah. Right. You artillery firing? Yeah. Let's cast spike shot. Yeah. There you go, you got a unit of Knight's Errant there, which you should have control of. I'm just throwing them straight at you. Brave knights. Ooh, the sirens, I'm going to have to move back so we don't get... I'm uh, sending Bob 1 and Bob 2 after their great swords. Completely understandable. Oh, halberdiers on the right flank. Oh! Yeah, I'm just letting my line engage, to be fair. Oh, that was beautiful. My uh, zombie swords are being battered on the right flank, but if you can support the right flank a bit and hit the halberdiers yep. from the rear. That's what the plan is. I'm putting my artillery on their ranged. Uh, don't forget you've got stuff on the left flank, man. Yeah, I'm keeping the sirens as reserves. If you've got any healing, you can chuck on my right flank. Uh, there's no healing, ah. so to speak. However, I am going to make. Sh I'm making sure to keep casting the uh, spells with your lord. We've already won this, though. Yeah, oh, completely. I mean, the knight's errant. Yeah, it's nice to have them with this. Get the sirens in, chasing down their ranged. Uh, they've got the reinforcements there. Oh, yeah, I forgot they had reinforcements. Yeah. Again. I'm already moving my main line forward, by the I'm way. I'm just using the summoned knight errants to... Uh, those great swords are probably the... Worry, biggest worry. Watch the uh, halberdiers. Yep. Oh, where's oh, what's? I mean, the thing is, we can just let the uh, line 
Oh yeah, they're they're moving into position now nicely. Yeah. Oh, the heroes are hitting us though. <laughs> oh my god, the damage we dealt to them as they charged. Oh yes, and obviously you got the mortars going on there, unarmored. Yeah, although they're on the halberdiers at the moment, which aren't too armored, though I'm swapping all of my things to their crossbows. Oh, those crossbows aren't going to stay around for long. Oh, let's get the sirens in now. And their great swords are getting peppered by my guns, which are armor piercing. Nice. The thing is, the cavalry, you can just use it to make the AI, you know, they, they've got to cover themselves. They're breaking. Yeah. Oops, dear fan miscast there. Nice. Uh, don't worry about those knight errants engaging with the halberdiers, because... Uh, yeah, chase. Well, everything's broken, just chase down as much as you can. Yep. That was a nice, solid victory. And they've basically just left their place. Um, lost Empty. huge amounts of protection. Though they've still got a chunky garrison there, so it might take me a bit of going through. But the thing is, I can mortar them and blow holes in their walls and stuff. Oh, completely. It's, uh... Now, I'm just going to cast a random spell with Diofan. Attack damage spell because of her passive, which we want to trigger. What's her passive? Uh, it damages all enemies. Ah, yes. If it... Uh, you haven't unlocked it, have you? I don't know. Yeah, you haven't. Anyway, end, end time. Um, um, yeah, it's the uh, it's in the first spell options. Yeah. If we autoed it, we would have taken much more. No, I think I have unlocked it. We would have we would have wiped them out, but I would have taken much more damage. Whereas this way, I basically barely took damage. Yeah, just lost Bob. I mean, those two uh, the the kills I got with them as well were perfect. Yeah, so. Dear fan didn't do any damaging spells that time. She got 13 <laughs> kills. Because of the uh, passive yeah. on the spell casting. Just, just wait take... until she gets her special giant opera crab mount. Assimilate captives. Uh, is that the replenishment one? Yeah. I don't need it massively, but it's better. I'm, sure I might not. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going to take the money. Yeah, I was thinking take the money. And you can fight them outside the uh, settlement. Well, the one which hasn't crossed the river, I can kill. Utterly. <laughs> yeah, no, that will be uh, quite a nice... Uh, Way to clear out the garrison if it's an easy but order. that is something for us to do next time. Sorry. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed this. And please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and Patreons. Monsters Abound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jared Horn, and an extra special thank you to William Farmer. And thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers all.